Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Logan23. You're joining me for Choices of Stories. You play High School Story, Book 1, Chapter 9, The Search. Saturday afternoon at the park. Michael, you have to try out for the football team. Your arm's just what the team needs to beat hers. Excuse me? I don't have to do anything. You won't even go to tryouts? Hell no. Look, John, I'll grant you that riding my motorcycle for the pep rally was fun, but that's about all the school spirit I'm good for. You won't even give it a chance? Don't be that way, John. It's not like that. You and I both know I don't belong on a football team. But you could... No, I really couldn't. Look, I'm not joining the team. Trust me, I've got my reasons. Like what? Just forget it. I'll see you later. Michael pushes past you and hurries away. Well, that didn't work. Monday after school. After practice finishes up, you head to the football field to watch the quarterback trials with Emma. She whispers to you. Think they'll find someone today? I really hope so. Just then, the crowd falls silent as Coach Burke begins to address a large group of hopefuls that have shown up. So, you want to be the next very high quarterback? You've got a long way to go. But everyone starts somewhere. Julian looks at the people trying out. He turns to you. Why are you asking me? <laughs> Whose arm should we test first, John? Why me? I'm not on the team. Maybe not, but after hearing your organized, you organized last week's pep rally, a lot of people look up to you. Well, in that case... I'm gonna go with Ezra. Come on, Ezra. My man! Wow, it's with your football skills. Watch and learn! Ezra passes to Julian. He catches it with ease as he runs downfield. Nice throw, Ezra. You're a natural. Dude, that was amazing! Look back at Ezra. He winches and shakes his hand out. Ah, jam my finger. I'm fine, but I I'm pulling out of tryouts. I, I can't risk my guitar hand. Please, Ezra. The team really needs your skills. Ain't gonna happen. Sorry. This is my music career we're talking about. But I thought we'd be brothers and teammates. Don't worry, we'll find something else. It just won't be football. Caleb could always join the band. That'll be the day. Co, let's try her. You look around the quarterback hopefuls and your eyes land on Co. Co, you're trying on? Look, it was a dare. Plus, I can tackle people here. We gonna do this or not? Yeah, let's go, Co. You heard John. Let's see what you've got. Co lines up, and the center hikes the ball to her. Yo, Julian, catch! She shows the football downfield to Julian, and runs after Caleb. You're not gonna get away from me. What? You're you're supposed to throw the. Ugh! Co tackles Caleb hard. He lifts his head, dazed. You and Julian will run over to them. Are you okay, Caleb? Are you kidding me? It was a great tackle. Thanks, man. I don't think the quarterback's the right place for you. But let's talk defense. Hidden potential. Don't judge but book by its cover. Okay, here we go. Lewis, you're up. Come on, show us that throwing arm. You got this, Lewis. It's just like Madden. No, it's not. Lewis lines up behind the center. Down. X. A. B. Up. Hike. The center hikes the ball to Lewis. He aims and throws the ball to Julian. It soars to the air and lands ten feet, sh y ten yards short from Julian. You were so close, Lewis. Uh, this is nothing like in game. Uh, where's the 
IRL X button. Maybe in the next update, Lewis. I don't think it's a match, but I'll let you know if we ever switch to VR football. I mean, at least he's positive. After tryouts finish, you help Caleb and Julian review the long list of quarterback hopefuls. <clears throat> no one even came close to being ready for Harst. Except Azrael. Sucks that he jammed his finger, but I get it. Music is his life. There's gotta be someone else. You realize how many jammed fingers I had in my lifetime? You look over at the stands and see Michael watching. He lets out a heavy sigh. Do I have to come over and do puppy dog eyes? I'll do puppy dog eyes. I'll bring Emma with me and she'll do them too. Your eyes lock and he immediately leaves the stand stadium. Hey Caleb, I got an idea. Can you come with? Caleb follows your gaze across the stadium. You got it. The two of you follow Michael out of the stadium and catch up with him in the courtyard. He stares at the tiger statue. Hey, Michael, wait up. What? Finally had enough of those so-called QB replacements? I mean, Coe's my friend, but you gotta admit, those guys are no Brian. Yeah, but they tried their best. Doing your best and failing is still failing. But you missed 100% of the shots that you don't take. Those guys might not be quarterback material, but at least they tried. I saw you at the park. I think you could be our next QB if you give it a shot. Oh no, not you too. What are you so afraid of? You think I'm afraid? You have no idea what I'm feeling, golden boy. I know I'm looking at someone who has raw football talent, but won't help out the school. It's not that. I want to. Never mind. You wouldn't get it. Come on, Michael. I'd be your number one fan. You'd be good at it. You don't even know that. I know what I saw at the part. You've got potential. Look, I feel for the team. I really do, but... Michael glances at Caleb, then back at you. I just can't! It's hard to explain. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me guess. Your so-called kind of back-of-the-stands friends will make fun of you because you come the quarterback. You fear that you're going to change and become normal or, or someone other than that? No, you're just putting on a uniform, throwing a ball, and you can resume your regularly scheduled life afterwards. Catch you later, John. Good luck with the search. I hope the team finds the right guy for the job. Michael strolls off, leaving you and Caleb alone in the courtyard. The two of you sit in silence for a moment, before finally getting up and going your separate ways. Thanks, Mike. Anyway, you walk through the front of the campus and meet back up with Caleb. He leans against one of the pillars as he stares off in the distance, a sad look on his face. Hey, Caleb. How you doing? Just thinking. How are we supposed to beat Harris now that Brian is on their team? It's... Hopeless. Oh, I thought he joined another team. Hmm. Sorry, I haven't slept in days. <sighs> Don't say that. We just haven't found the right person yet. But homecoming's coming up soon. I think what you need is to take a break from it all. Yeah, I know. A few friends invited me to see a movie tonight, but I'm not really in the mood. Too bad. A movie sounds pretty cool. If you tagged along, I'd definitely go. Really? Oh yeah, be a ton of fun with you around. Think about it. We can help us pick the movie, we can split a bucket of popcorn, and just relax for a couple hours. Oh, and since you live so close, I'll walk you home afterward. But it won't be as much fun without you. So, what do you say? Will you come, please? I don't feel like it. It's a school night and I've got homework and stuff. No worries. I totally get it. See you tomorrow? Yeah, see you then. You and Caleb go off in your separate ways and you head home for the evening. How to convince Michael to become a f quarterback? Hmm. Hmm. 
the next afternoon after homecoming committee. You're walking through the hallway and pass by the band room. Suddenly, a wadded up piece of paper flies out of the room and crosses your path. Whoa! You step inside the room and find Aiden hunched over a music stand, mumbling to himself. This isn't right! Aiden crumples up a piece of paper and tosses it behind him. It hits you in the face and falls to the ground. How? Oh, sorry, John. But you shouldn't interrupt a genius while he's working. Who am I kidding? I'm nothing like Beethoven or Mozart. I couldn't even get the band to agree on the song to play at halftime. Halftime against Staten? Wasn't your fault. Could have been worse. Completely sucked. Could have been worse. Yeah, I guess you're right. But not by much. Aiden suddenly sits up in his seat and scribbles on the music sheet in front of him. He plays a few notes on his trumpet before tossing the paper to the ground. Ah, oh, That's not easy either. The next piece has to be perfect. I have to make up for that disastrous halftime. I can't be a failure, not again. Aiden, I know you can bounce back from this. I just wish I could figure this song out. Then I could prove my worth to Ezra and the band. But I've only got two notes figured out. The nothing. Zip, zilch, nada. Come on, you need to get out of here. Couldn't possibly leave now. A change in scenery goes a long way. Hmm. It could help my writer's block. Well, I guess it's going to be a diamond wall, too. Do you like to go anywhere in particular to unwind? It's childish, but... Aiden averts his eyes, and his ears start to turn red. I quite enjoy the roller rink in the town. Really? Yes, really. I know it's a little dated, but I find skating rather enjoyable. Nothing wrong with that. Could be exactly what I need to get out of this rut. If that's the case, you should go out there. <laughs> Maybe later. What I need right now is complete focus. Now, if you excuse me, I'll get back to working on my piece. See you later, Aiden. Hope you find the right note soon. It nods as you leave the band room and head home. Now your problem is, is Ezra and Aiden need one another because they cause basically a competition and creative construct uh, constructive creative criticism is what helps intellectuals think, and that's what I believe Aiden needs. The following morning before class. You're walking through the courtyard on the way to class when you see a large group of students gathered around. Why is everyone out here? You push your way through the crowd. And that's when you see it. Something tells me this is going to push Michael in the right direction. Because this is Brian's doing. The beloved Oli the Tiger statue is covered in red graffiti. Michael stands by it, his fists clenched. The nerve of some people. Barry sucks, harsh rules? Wow. Someone forgot to use spell check. That would be me. That would that would be me. Whoever did this is gonna pay. This calls for revenge. Who would have done something like this? Who else? Hearse! They sign their name. I say we teach them a lesson. Michael pounds his fists. His eyes are unwavering from the vandalized statue. It's not fair. Ooh. I gotta say, you're the last person I expect to care. As far as I can tell, you don't even like this school. That's... that's not the whole story. The truth is, the place means something to me. Especially the statue. He looks at the spray paint again and clenches his fists. Easy there, Michael. It's just a statue. Just a statue? It's more than that. It's... Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Try me. For the love of God, stop beating around the bush. Try me. You sure? It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Although, I don't know. You might be the first person I've met to actually get it. Ah. <sighs>
three diamond choices in less than five minutes. Okay. I don't know, Michael. Why Michael came to Barry High? There's a chance to play as him and find out, as well as improve your relationship. Diamond additions are a reason for living, I guess. On second thought, I don't need to know. He chose not to hear Michael's story. Hm, <laughs> should have figured. Michael kneels down, places his hand on the graffiti inscription. You look over her shoulder and read the quote. The skull began as a bunch of empty plots of land and a promise to be open to everyone. A promise that ensured no matter who you were or what you liked, you'd always be included and together we accomplish anything. Hmm. It's funny. I kind of feel like that about YouTube. YouTube was once supposed to be, you know, back in 2007 for creators and as of 2017 and what they've been doing to creators, I feel like it's no longer that. They are hers. They are Brian. They are literally the embodiment of it. It's a nice quote, but what's it mean? It doesn't matter anymore. We need to show hearse. We won't be bullied. I promise this is the last time I'll bring it up. We could show hearse if you lead the football team as quarterback. John, I'm worried. I'll turn into someone I'm not. But maybe it doesn't have to be that way. Michael turns from Ollie to Tiger, then back to you. He sighs heavily, and you can see a sadness in his eyes. Why me? Because... You owe it to yourself, actually. I'm doing just fine, thank you very much. But don't you wonder what could happen if you could make a difference at Barry High? You could be the great uniter of the school as our quarterback. Besides, I know part of you will always regret it if you don't help us. I... He takes one last look at the tiger statue. Then he smiles and meets your eyes. I'll do it. Hearst won't know what hit him. An afternoon at football practice. After your practice finishes up, you and Emma stop by to watch Michael on the football team. He throws passes downfield to Caleb. Whoa, Michael is really good. I knew he'd be a great addition to the team. Caleb will easily catch as Michael's pass as they run through a new play. This quarterback stuff is easy. Just wait until you, we put you through the bases. Bring it. This is great. We might have a chance against Hurst now. This gives me an idea for some new plays. Coach Berg furiously writes in his red binder while Caleb and Michael run toward you on the sideline. Well... Thanks, John. Things are looking up. I can't wait to beat Hearst now. I just asked for one chapter. One. Just one. Cute! You actually think you have a shot. So, Brian, Max, and Kara enter the football stadium, smirking you and your friends. What are you doing here? Come to gloat at your hard work. Ha ha ha! That old statue back there. We didn't lift a finger this time. But a big thanks to whoever decided to give him a makeover. The red paint really brings out the desperation. Wait, you didn't do it? It must have been someone else from hers. Bzzzt! Wrong! Try again! At least her students don't deface their own school. You're saying someone from Barry High did this? Ding, 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 ding! We have a winner! Maybe they're teaching you something at this school after all! Good luck figuring out how it was. You're gonna need it. Hmm. You know! Hmm. Okay. You investigate the vandalize. Ollie is the tiger and learn someone's secret. I can do it. 
No, 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 no. Check this out. Check this out. There are times... Ask me! Okay, or, well, answer this for me. Have there ever been times where you thought if you did something it would unite people? And it was a statue, so it's not really hurting anybody. And if anything, it angered people to unite together. That's what I, I, I I've had those thoughts before. Let's I'm gonna be honest. That's amazing how they did that. Whoever did it, props. I give mad props. They did it in such a way that it really didn't hurt specifically anyone, but they allowed the uniting of everyone, especially something that Michael needed to be united on, and so then he unites the team, he unites the school, he it's a domino effect. And there really is no negative. It's one person. It's like Spock saying, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. So if someone fi if we find out who it is, I ain't gonna chew them out. I'm gonna thank them. That's ingenious. That's ingenious. Because I have those thoughts every once in a while, but I never, I never really um, do them because I fear that that I may not have enough vision for it to, to it may affect one specific person. It may affect a, a whole bunch. I always fear that's the worst. And I gotta say that this this actually was smart. This actually was this was actually really smart. Uh, with that being said, I hope you all did enjoy the video. Uh, feel free to like, comment, share, or subscribe. Also, feel free to head down in the description below. You can find a couple links to help support me and my content. Otherwise, or i got some social media links down there as well. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video.